Hello and uh, welcome to Hydrogen Home. I uh, just realised how far I have to stand back to fit this whole thing in the frame of the video camera. Um, this is uh, my test unit that I uh, have been working on over the last couple of weeks. I'm going a bit closer. Uh, this has been made up of parts from my, uh, my old unit. And uh, this is basically a test unit uh, for testing a whole bunch of concept concepts before I put together uh, a bigger version of this um, right now it's sitting on 12 and a half volts and about 9 amps and it's uh, you can see it bubbling out there uh, right now its efficiency is around about 4.7 mmw and it's uh, had everything from about 4 mmw up to about 5.3 so it's been doing pretty well this is um, seven uh, plates uh, set up in a neutral configuration and you can see the water level here which means that the fluid between the plates is probably up around here somewhere you can see it just slightly Chugging out of that hole there, which means that there's plenty of fluid between the plates, which is good. Um, you might be able to see I've actually cut out a section of um, plastic here uh, to allow more water to sit in there to make it easier for it to get into the bottom here. Plus, the build up of pressure in the top here also helps to push that into the bottom of the cell. And you can see the intake down here, which just goes up into the bottom of this container. And then the outlet is going up and into the top of that one. And then the top of that goes into the bubbler in the back here. Uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other setups out there. Uh, as in that um, the fluid in the bubbler is actually electrolyte. Um, these chambers do share fluid. The uh, reason for that will become more clear on the next video. Basically there's going to be six of these smaller um, storage containers and um, I didn't want to have to fill six individual ones of these so basically I fill this chamber and then that gets fed into all six of these um, also on this I've added a few extra things to make my life a bit easier I've added a, an empty valve which drains the whole unit out and also there's a valve at the top and what that does when I open that it allows fluid to flow into this smaller chamber um, I'll show you more of that on the bigger unit um, so yeah, basically there's going to be 60 plates all up and um, I'll show you over here, got all the parts ready to go. Um, sorry about the noise, it's raining outside, I'll just have to speak up. So basically there's uh, a whole heap more sections of this and uh, as I said another six of these tubes here, a heap of gaskets and the rest of the plates. Um, I went with these nozzles here, these are, are, are threaded and it's also tapered um, so I've had to use a special tapered uh, uh, tap to, uh, to do it that was quite expensive, 50 bucks for that and um, yeah so that, that's working really well so I've done a lot, as you can see there's quite a lot of them over here I've got a bunch of reinforced hose and um, and also all my rods here ready to go so uh, I'll show you all of that on the next video because I'll be putting it together pretty much as soon as I've done this video or tomorrow and yeah so that's about it for now um, uh, I've learned a bunch of other stuff from uh, doing this this test uh, unit but uh, I'll just share all that with you when I show you the big unit uh, you can see here there's quite a good flow and I might actually crank it up hey let's put it up to Oh, let's put it all the way up to 15 volts. And now we're pushing yeah, 21, 22 amps. As you can see it's bubbling out a lot more now. Oh, here comes the rain. One other important thing to show you on this is um, this safety release valve. It's basically just a rubber ball on a spring. Um, 
that does two things. One, it's for flashback. If there's a, if, if uh, any flame gets up the hose, it'll um, act as a flashback arrester. And two, it also works as a pressure release valve. So if I build up too much pressure in here, it will release it safely. Um, I will be running this under a little bit of pressure. Basically, as you can see now, um, turning up the volts like that has um, pushed the uh, fluid level down inside the unit. And adding a bit of back pressure will bring that back up again. Um, don't attempt to do that unless you're using a safety release valve like this or something similar. It's too dangerous otherwise. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, this is set up in neutral plate uh, configuration and the next one won't have any neutral plates in it. Uh, but once again, I'll go into that on the next video. And there's that chugging away. It's probably putting out about a litre and a half right now. Or maybe a bit less, uh, 1.3. So it's quite capable of putting out um, one and a half litres like this and I suspect the full size unit should be able to put out about 10 or 12 litres a minute. But uh, yeah, time will tell and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. I'm going to run inside before I get drenched. So I'll see you later. Bye.